Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm with Lincoln Electric System. I've been with Lincoln Electric System for about 16 years now. My current role at LES is in the Energy Services Group as an Energy Service Specialist and I've had this role uh, for over about three years now. My primary responsibilities consist of coordinating and facilitating programs and services that assist small and medium-sized businesses along with residential customers. I also assist with developing and administrating energy efficiency programs. So today we're going to talk about solar and how you can determine if it's something that would benefit you and the property that you own. I'm going to do this by demonstrating a tool called the PV Watts Calculator. The tool itself was created by NREL to do PV analysis on buildings and sites around the country. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my desktop now so we can use the actual tool. Customers can use this tool to input specific data about a site that they are potentially looking at installing solar on to determine if the investment makes sense for them. So you might ask who is NREL or the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. It's a government owned facility in Golden, Colorado funded through the U.S. Department of Energy that specializes in renewable energy and energy efficiency research. It was established in 1974. NREL has been a leader in renewable energy research for over 20 years, focusing on solar since it began operation. NREL developed the PV Watts calculator in collaboration with the Environmental Protection Agency as part of the Repowering America's Land Initiative. So let's take a closer look at the tool itself and kind of go through what a potential um, project would look like. So the first thing you're going to need to make sure that you do is go to the pvwatts.nrel.gov. Uh, you can see that up here in the address. And you're going to want to type in right here in this location, you're going to type in the address of the area that you're potentially looking at installing a system. So I use the address where our new service center is at, which is 9445 Rokeby Road. And then you just click on Go. So once you click on Go, it's going to set up the system for the best results um, based on the, the address that you put in. So if you scroll down, you can see that it automatically zoomed into Lancaster County, which is the area that we're looking at, and it's going to size your system and give you outputs based on the location that you put in. So now you're going to click on the arrow to the right or go to system information. Both buttons do the same thing. So if you scroll up, the system that it put in here was 5KW. You can change this if you're looking at putting in a bigger system or maybe something smaller. You can change that value here. This is where you're going to set up what your system would be. Is it going to be a standard system? Is it going to be, you know, something a little bit different? What kind of an array is it going to be? Is it going to be fixed? Does it have one axis? Does it have two axis? Is it tracking? Is it roof mounted? Is it ground mounted? These are all the things that you're going to want to make sure that you put in if you do know what your system is going to be or if you're looking at different options. This is an easy way to see what your ending results would be. Also, the tilt. The tilt of the system itself. So Lancaster County's optimal tilt degree is 20 degrees, so it automatically put that in. Also, one additional thing you're going to make sure you put in is what direction is your system going to be facing? So 270 degrees is west, but if you're looking at putting in a south-facing system or if you're kind of looking at something else, this is where you would change that degree. If you're not sure specifically what number you should be putting in here, you can always click on the I for information and it will give you the exact degree based on the direction that you're wanting your system to be set up for. So for demonstration purposes, I am going to run the system at a western facing, which is 270, and also south, which is 180 degrees. So currently it is set up for 270 degrees, which is west. Additional information that you're going to want to put in is what is your utility rate? So LES's average residential rate is 0.0632. So you can see I put that in there. If that was to change, this is where you would input that. One additional thing that I would suggest is that if you're not sure what that rate is, you can either go to les.com to find that, or you can always call LES and we will give you the information for that. So once you have all the information put in, 
you're going to click the arrow to the right or click on the words here that say go to PV Watts results. You will see based on all the previous inputs that you had, it's going to show you what the results are for that system. It's not only going to show you the annual output, but it's going to show you a breakdown by month. The first column is going to show you what the sun output is, how many hours per month. The second column, the AC energy, is going to be the AC output per month. And then the last one is the value in dollars. That's going to be the kilowatt hours per day times the rate that you put in, the utility rate, which is 0 0.0632, and that's going to give you $17 for the month of January. If you scroll down, you can see what the total output would be annually in each of those columns as well. If you scroll down even further, you can see the specifics on the whole system that you input, the size of it, what type it is, if it's fixed, if it's on an axis, the tilt, the direction of the system itself. So now that we did that, if you remember, I set this up to be western facing. So the overall per year is 6,106 kilowatt hours. Now I would like to go back and change this to southern facing and I'd like you to see what this number here is going to change to. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to change that direction again and if you can't remember what the input number is that needs to go in this degree, you can click on the I for information to see. So we had it at west, which is 270 degrees, and now we want it to be south, which is 180 degrees. So I'm going to close this and change that back to 180 degrees. And then again, you're going to follow the same steps. You'll either click the arrow or the button that says go to PV Watts results. So if you remember, that number up here before was 6,106 kilowatt hours per year. That increased. Now it's 7,224. So if you are on the fence about if you should be setting up your system for south or west or, or whatever you might want for sure, or if you're splitting the system, this is an easy way to see what your output would be. Also, if you already have a system and you're not sure if it's producing the way it should, this tool is also a great tool to see if it's kind of what it should be producing. So that being said, now that we have kind of gone through how the PV Watts tool works. If there's any questions that you might have whatsoever, please don't hesitate to call LES. If you're considering installing solar or if you're looking at participating in one of LES's other solar programs, we'd be more than happy to answer questions, give you what your average use has been for the last year, maybe the past two years, so that you can see what size system you might need to install to offset that use. Part of LES's mission is to help our customers understand their energy use and how solar will work and how it will help offset their homes or their businesses' energy use. And as we talked about early, it's always important to understand LES's current rates and how they might impact the decision when it comes to installing solar. As your local energy partner, we can help you decide the next best step to invest in solar, whether it's installing panels on your home or if it's purchasing virtual panels through LES's community solar facility that's just out west of town. Thank you.